when a country is overtaken by hardship and hunger, what do you think will happen? Insecurity will thrive. Uh -huh. There will be lots of insecurity everywhere. And in this case, they are starting with the Federal Capital Territory. Of course, you know, if a Federal Capital Territory is conquered by terrorists, the whole country is conquered now. What do you mean? When your seat of power has been captured, where can they save? Which place? Now your village can't they save? Where people, where they rule the country, they is not safe. Or where is it where your village got they save? Eh? Uh -huh. Hunger everywhere. Hardship. And this kidnapping happening in FCT. To tell you say na hunger cause more. Oko ransom can done a demand. It's ransom they are demanding. You know? 10 million, 20 million, 50 million, 60 million. Depending on how many people were they kidnap and how many the crew were kidnapped they. Because they go share the money now. Oh, oh, now they hear me. Make I not talk too much. That's when I go and say what now they talk. Help me listen to this report so that you go understand. Say, hey, now hunger, now ransom that they demand. If you pay, they release a person. If you not pay, they go start to buy them one one so that you go not say they're serious and you go pay. Go help me watch this video. And more residents of Kuchiko on the outskirts of Wari area council of, of Abuja are leaving their homes in search of safety elsewhere due to the spate of kidnapping in the boundary community with Niger State. At least eight people have been kidnapped in the last month, raising concerns among residents of who could be next. The report. Properties up for sale in this developing estate in Kuchiko on the outskirts of Wari in Abuja. But there are no willing buyers. The spate of kidnapping is forcing residents to relocate elsewhere while putting up their properties for sale. We gather that at least eight people have been kidnapped in the last month, and there are fears more people could be kidnapped in the coming days. Three people, including a two-month-old baby, were taken from this home in December. But they were released four days later after ransom was paid. The two women who were taken from this home are still being held for more than three weeks. The incident has raised more suspicion of the active connivance of informants who may be resident in the community. No one is willing to speak on camera. The family presently in the hands of Kinapa, two guests for almost a month now in this environment. We have made the CP, we have made the DPOs. All effort is proved above it. They are age of uh, 15 and 18. Okay. Presently, they are still in the hands of them. They are demanding for 100 million. Where the family want to get the 100 million? You don't see them. Uh -huh. Now so you be. Uh, FCT minister see they do jamboree everywhere. They run about. I hear them kepu kepu today say he don't they call for security meeting. Make you know what's up. After you don't go run all the matter inside River State, they do like say they campaign as if say election day around the corner. You don't come back and you don't they arrange for security meeting. Let us pray it will yield something. But that they kidnap on the mother, these kidnappers and terrorists. Where are they coming from? Do you want to know? It already may be I will tell you so that you understand where they are coming from. And to solve this problem is very easy. Help me watch this video. Sean, what is uh, going on in Abuja is a reflection of what has been happening across Nigeria. If you look at the data, you would see that over 9,700 people were killed last year, that is in 2023, across Nigeria. And last December, over 880 Nigerians were killed and over 600 were abducted across the country. And Abuja cannot be immune to that because as long as you leave insecurity to fester and flourish across Nigeria, then it will find its way uh, to Abuja. Cheon, you and I have held several conversations here last year in which we highlighted and warned that violent terrorist groups and criminal gangs have been moving from north uh, western Nigeria and northeastern Nigeria to uh, uh, states across Abuja. And uh, so Abuja currently borders four states that are harboring criminal and terrorist cells uh, in their uh, forests. Kaduna, Nasarawa, Niger, 
and Koji, all of these uh, four states harbor terrorist uh, cells in the forests that are neighboring Abuja. And now these criminal gangs and terrorist organizations have been able to find a way of coming to communities close to Abuja and abducting and killing and maiming individuals. Uh, in, uh, from October 2013 to December 2013, the, three month, uh, the last three months of last year, over 200 people were either killed or abducted in Abuja uh, in the federal capital territory. And it is not just abductions and kidnappings, it is also increasing armed robbery across Abuja. Uh, in major junctions across Abuja, criminals and armed robbers masquerading as taxi drivers and as other uh, businessmen in the city, uh, I mean, kill, maim and rob unsuspecting Nigerians in a way that we have not seen before. Abuja is becoming one of the scariest cities in the world. The scary, uh, is becoming one of the scariest capital, uh, federal capitals in the world. And I think the federal government needs to pay more attention to this crisis so that it doesn't drive away foreign investors, diplomats, and other visitors to Nigeria and affect Nigeria's international standing. You don't see them. They are coming from the neighboring states. They are the states that are bothering Abuja. Here for that video. Uh -huh. Kaduna, Nasarawa, uh, Kogi, and which other place? Niger states. Uh -huh. Now there they will come. Any village, I'll be any city way near them, they go kidnap. Whew! Enter the neighboring bush or hill or valley, anyone where they see. You understand? Enter back where they come from. Then start to the call for ransom. When I go pay now. You, you don't see them. Uh -huh. So, these things are coming from the northwest, north, south, north, center. People are hungry now. People are hungry. That is why they have engaged in crime. And they want to use federal capital territory to cash out because they don't say that here big men day. This goes a long way to explain that word in Teluna. Say if there is break of law and order inside any country. Now both the poor and the rich go. In fact, now the rich go even so far. And this rich, they must not necessarily be in government because both those people that are in government are being secured and secure here very well. They have security guiding them everywhere. So the rich, normal people, we don't work, get money. You understand? We feel like, say, you know, because I'm, you know, because I'm, I already, I already have money. I can take care of myself. Uh, let them do their politics anyhow they want. On what I call them now, nah, no be them, they suffer anything. They go kidnap you now, nah, they demand for money. Uh -huh. They go get informant when they tell them, say, you see that house? One rich man did it. They don't go go slum and I say, one rich man. <laughs> they, not, they are not targeting the poor. <laughs> because they don't say the poor, they're the same level with them. Now nah, the rich people. Those people say, God, a politics is not my middle. They don't even have PVC to vote. You don't say. So, now them not the hammer on. The poor now are now feasting on the rich. Not politicians, so the rich. That is why we need to get it right at the post. Anytime we go to the post to elect our leaders. Those we get sense that can solve the problem of this country. Don't always say, you know, concern me. You go or concern you like you concern the beggar. He never concern you. He don't concern you now. I mean, never concern you. Eh? Part of that video where you watch, the first video where I play for you. What till you see there? People know they run. They don't they run, come up for their houses. They put up their houses for sale. Say, come and buy. Come. Who won't buy? They are leaving their villages, I mean, their communities now. They are putting up their properties for sale. Eh? That your money, which you feel like say you get, you don't manage now, go build a house. Now, the house don't be useless. Nobody won't buy because of your security. You don't say, let us use our head inside this country when it's time for election go and get your pvc and vote let us fight together and make sure that our vote stand don't always say i don't care i don't care you know because i'm you know cause. now you don't concern you nobody rich now the poor are feasting on and hey, now the poor are feasting on the rich not the politicians because they are well guided i go see una later imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury and doggedness for the African roads. 
Innocent Vehicles, the pride of African Road.